raised beds are a good idea after years of persuasion. So he's building me a raised bed. His is a lot more accurate and detailed. So we're going to show you the steps to build a raised bed. This is his corner. We're using the bigger log in his corner. And he's cut exactly equal, which mine are never equal, but his are exactly equal that we're going to build a raised bed. Plus or minus a couple inches. And, uh, I'm Jamie, by the way. We will show you the steps step by step as we proceed. Back to work now. Okay, so the new raised bed is uh, almost done. Leaving an opening here to... Uh, Put the leaves and stuff in and then I'll finish closing it out and we'll add leaves and compost and wood chips and make a nice raised bed out of it. Alright, so here's the raised bed just about complete. And my lovely wife Vicky's putting some branches in it. This ought to make for a real nice raised bed once we get done. the Hugo culture where you put the bigger logs in the bottom and you go with smaller branches and leaves and the cellulose from the logs will feed and keep moisturized our bed so we don't have to water as much and add nutrients for all our worms as well as the leaves and branches will add nutrients to our raised bed okay now I think we're ready for leaves the boss, Vicky, says, yes, we're ready for leaves now. So that's how much stuff we got from the existing trees. There's a lot more than that that got taken away by the city. But that's a good part of it right there. And all these, these logs that make up this raised bed are ones that I cut down from the trees here. Okay, so raised bed is full. It's the 19th of December. We are in the Panhandle of Florida, and it is a nice 70 degrees out right now. Uh, so we're gonna we'll update this periodically and uh, so we with the time-lapse thing so we can show you how quickly this goes down When the worms start eating this stuff and turn it into good compost and good soil Well, it is about a half an hour of gathering of uh, leaves and compost material for the new raised beds Okay, so this is what we're using for compost stuff. It's all free went around town and picked up other people's bags of leaves and grass and stuff like that Okay, however there's some things that you may not want that you get for free in compost pile. Come over here, Biggie. Second raised bed is uh, assembled. A lot of work. And get a nice layer of logs in there. Start with and put some uh, brush and then leaves and fill her up. A whole load of stuff to put in there. Okay, now we're ready for putting the leaves and other little bit uh, finer stuff on here. Okay, now we got the leaves on top. We'll add some sand to that so the worms have something to work with and then we'll add some wood chips like I did with the other one okay sands on ready for wood chips there it is wood chips are on it with several wheelbarrow loads uh, don't go buy this at the store get it delivered by a truck or half truck or something like that uh, we talked to a local uh, wood chopping company and uh, they offered to drop it off free of charge to save them take it to a landfill and, and it works great for this great mulch compost and the sand helps the worms grind up the compost and it helps plants with drainage so we're adding a layer of sand that all get mixed in to our awesome raised bed now what is what do the worms do to sand what do they need it, it helps for? them digest it, it worms don't have teeth so the, the sand helps helps them grind up their their food. 